show you guys how to decorate this Wu-Tang theme cake with edible images and a fondant topper. So when I use edible images, what I do is take a ruler to my cake. I always make my cakes first and then I measure the cake to see how tall it is so I can figure out how big to print out the images. That's why I always like to make my cakes first and then make the decorations so I can make the decorations the correct size. Now I have gum text powder, Tylos powder, CMC powder. It's all basically the same thing. This is mixed into my fondant. I only use marshmallow fondant. I sprinkle a little bit in there, knead it in the fondant, roll it out, let it sit. It's going to dry harder and make it so much easier to work with and cut. I will link this in the description. So I'm doing my trace cut and smooth method to make this topper. I am tracing this number four onto this yellow fondant. I rolled out the yellow fondant really thin and again I measured the top of the, my cake and made sure that I printed that number out the correct size. And then I'm taking my X-Acto knife and I'm cutting this out. Now this number four is in my favorite numbers PDF and that will be linked below. And this fondant does have that Tylos powder mixed into it so it is holding its shape. I'm smoothing my cuts and then I'm getting a little bit of water behind that number and I'm going to stick it down on this black fondant. I rolled that black fondant out about a half inch to a three quarters inch thick and since this is a thicker piece of fondant I'm doing a guideline cut first so I'm just sticking the tip of my knife into the fondant to create a guideline and then I stick the tip of the knife all the way down to the cutting board and cut it out using the guideline as a guide so I don't mess up the fondant. Now I am taking my tools and using my fingers to smooth out those cuts so this is going to go on the top of the cake so I'm smoothing it out from the back and from the front. And I printed these out on my edible printer. I have a video showing you how I use my edible printer that will be linked below and I'm cutting this piece that I need and using my little circle punch cutter to cut this out. And I will link all of the pictures that I use in the description. I'm getting a little bit of piping gel on the back of this and then I'm going to stick that on that thinner yellow fondant and use a circle cutter and make sure I have it evenly spaced around there and cutting that out, smoothing my cuts and then I'm going to get a little bit of water on the back like I did for the number four and stick that down and I'm going to get a circle cutter that's just a little bigger so I can have a black border around that. And again, I'm going to take my fingers and smooth my cuts to make sure the fondant looks nice and pretty and let's set that aside. Now I want to cut the rest of these out. If you have a Cricut, you can probably use a Cricut. I just prefer to do it by hand and I'm cutting a white border around these bees. And for the name, I'm cutting a white border around that as well. And then for this saying, I'm using my straight cutter to just cut exactly along the edge of this. And all of the tools that I use will be linked in the description. And I also have an Amazon store where they are all linked as well. And then for this, I'm cutting a little black border around this picture. Now let's put these images on a fondant backing. I have that white fondant rolled out. It has that Tylos powder mixed into it. I'm getting a little bit of piping gel on the back and then sticking these down. I'm doing that for all of these pieces that have that white border. And then I'm taking my X-Acto knife and carefully cutting all of these out. And once I cut them out, I'm gonna take my fingers and just smooth my cuts. Now for the picture of the group, I'm putting this on some black fondant because it has a black border already and that saying I'm putting on black fondant as well. For the saying, I'm cutting a little black fondant border around it and then I'm taking my fingers and smoothing my cuts and then for this picture, I already cut the black border around it on the edible image so I'm just cutting exactly along those lines and taking my fingers to smooth everything out. Now I'm leaving these out to dry at room temperature for about 24 hours so they dry flat and they hold Hold their shape. I'm going to put them up against the cake flat except for the picture of the group. I put that picture of the group on the cake right away because it was still pliable. So what I did, I put those little black borders on the bottom of each tier. I got a little bit of piping gel behind the picture and stuck that to the front of the cake and I let the rest of those edible images dry flat so they hold their shape. Now I'm sorry I forgot to film me rolling out the, and cutting the borders but I just rolled that black fondant out really long, took a ribbon cutter and cut long thin strips and then used a little bit of piping gel to adhere them to the bottom of each tier. Now I wet that skewer and I'm twisting it. I'm screwing it in the bottom of that black fondant. That's why I rolled that black fondant out about a half inch to three quarter inch thick so I can fit the skewer in here without it poking out. And I'm just screwing that up into the fondant and then I'm going to put a toothpick next to it. That way it won't twist when I put it in the top of the cake. And I am putting these down in the top of the cake. I got a little bit of black buttercream underneath it and I'm just taking my paintbrush and removing the excess buttercream that was sticking out. Then I play this game, like where do I wanna put everything? 
I think I like it like that. So I'm paying attention to where it's touching the cake, getting a little black buttercream behind it, and then pressing that down. And I'm doing the same thing for the name. I see where it's touching the cake, get some black buttercream behind it, and stick that down. And then I'm, I don't know where I want to put the bees. I'm like holding one up. Do I like it there? Do I like it there? So I play this little game, like where do I like these decorations? So I think I like that little guy here. So again, see where it's touching the cake, get some buttercream behind it, and stick it down. And I'm doing that for the other bees. Now, when I put this back in the refrigerator, that icing is going to solidify and it's really going to hold these decorations on there. And for this little guy, I want him behind the O, so I'm putting a little bit of icing on the front of him and pushing that down and a little bit of icing started seeping out, so I'm taking a dry paintbrush to remove the excess and I'm going to stick that little guy down there. And now I'm going to put some curlies on here. I have a curly addiction. I show how to make these in tons of my videos. These are just fondant curly cues. I'm getting some piping gel underneath each one and sticking them down to the cake. And here is the cake. Look how cool this is. It's a pretty simple design using the edible images. And again, I do have videos showing you how I use my edible image printer. And make sure you follow or subscribe for more cake decorating tips.